Hey coders, let's talk about the selection sort algorithm today. We are going to see an overview of how selection sort would work and then see how we can implement selection sort in JavaScript. That's pretty much what we want to cover on this particular video. So as an overview, let's pick up a list of an item which contains an unordered list which is 5 4 8 and 2 we'll try to sort this using selection sort okay how selection sort work in general is it picks the very first element in the list at the start of an iteration and then it would consider that particular item the very first item in the list to be the smallest number within a given list and then it would iterate throughout the list and would identify the smallest number within the list if it identifies a smaller number in comparison to the first item in the list it would swap its positions okay let's see that uh, with an example so as i said the very first item would be picked and it would be considered as the smallest number within a given list so the current minimal list 5 and then it moves on to the next number and checks whether it is if the next value is smaller than the current minimal value on this case it's 4 since 4 is lesser than 5 so the current minimum is 4 and then moves on to the next number which is 8 the current minimum is 4 since 8 is greater than 4 it moves on to the next number since 2 is lesser than 4 the current minimum is 4 so it identified the smallest number within a given list so now the position of 5 would be swapped with the position of 2 so they would just interchange their position leaving us with the smallest number at the, at the location of uh, 5 thus making 2 as sorted at the end of the first iteration then it moves on to the next element on the list which is 4 and consider that as the minimal number of um, consider as be consider it to be the smallest number within the given list and this 4 is then compared with the next element which is 8 since 8 is greater than 4 it moves on to the next element the next element is 5 since 5 is greater than 4 it already has the it, the current position already holds uh, the minimal value which is 4 so 4 at the end of this particular iteration is the smallest number so at the end of the second iteration what we get is the first two number within the given list is sorted then it moves on to the third element which is 8 since it always consider the current position to be the smallest to start with 8 is considered to be the minimal number within the list or in this particular iteration then it is compared with the next element which is 5 so the current minimal is 5 since there is no more element and the current minimal is 5 the position of 8 is swapped with the position of 5 so they would just interchange so this operation leaves 5 to be in a sorted place leaving us with the first three number at the end of the third iteration to be sorted then the last item in the list will be picked since there is no more element to compare the current element is the minimal element minimal value within the list so that by itself is sorted so at the end of the fourth iteration list of four elements it takes four iterations at the end of the fourth iteration all the list all the item in the list is sorted so our final result is 2 4 5 8 which is in sorted order now let's see 
how we can do selection sort using javascript so to explain this using javascript i'm going to uh, write the javascript in an html file uh, within the script tag so this will allow me to open this html file in a browser which you see on the right hand side so uh, so that uh, once I open the file in the browser, you could see the output in the console uh, tab available in the developer tool. I'm using Chrome browser. You could definitely use browser support uh, JavaScript. So any browser of your choice should work for you. Uh, so let's uh, start. Uh, so uh, so let's uh, define a function which takes in a list of item as we have seen it earlier what we want is we want to iterate all the item within the list when we iterate we want to pick the pick the first element and then swap it with the minimal num minimal uh, number within the list on this particular position so so and then move on to the next number and then identify the next minimal number and then swaps it swaps its position so that's what we want to achieve so to do this let's first have a function let me call that as selection sort i'll write this as a fat or a function i'll call it as items uh, as the input parameter since there is only one parameter so i'm not going to enclose that uh, uh, in i'm not going to enclose that uh, within a, a bracket uh, i can definitely have it as a bracket uh, but it is not rec uh, required because it is only one single uh, parameter so so what i have to do is i have to iterate through all the element in the list so to do that i'm going to have an for loop i'm going to uh, declare a variable call i and i'm going to iterate uh, through uh, through the items in the list uh, so the index of an array starts uh, from an index of zero so i'm going to uh, uh, declare a variable i starting with zero and it has to iterate till uh, all the item in the list so items dot length should give me should give me the length of the array on this case it should give me four so it would go from zero one two three uh, once it reaches four uh, this loop should terminate so i want to increment uh, the value of i2 so this should help me to go from 5 to 2 so whenever whenever an iteration starts what i want is we want the iteration position to be considered as the smallest number so let me declare a variable and call it as minimum so when the very first iteration starts uh, let's say on this case uh, we have five so five the position on which five has should be considered as the minimum so uh, so minimum is five so then we want to iterate through the list and may and we want to identify is there any other minimum within the list and if so we want to swap it so, so to do that we want to have another loop let me have it as j on this case uh, so we want to iterate j from the current position of i plus one so if i'm in if i if i'm on the first iteration i want to compare four eight two correct so if i is zero uh, the position of the value of four is one two uh, so just to let you know uh, so that it is easy to understand uh, the the position is zero the position is zero 
then followed by 1, then followed by 2, then followed by 3. So this is the position itself. So to you. Okay. So then we want J to iterate till the item's length and then increment J. So hope it makes sense. Okay. So what uh, we want to do in this particular loop is we want to identify if the current minimum. So we want to know whether the value available at the position i or in the current iteration we want to compare that and if it is greater than the current value at position j okay so if if it is the case so if i am if the i want to change the minimum value the minimum value is no longer in i it is moved to j correct so i'm i'm say i'm just assigning j to the minimum position okay iterate on this uh, list so to start with the i started with a value of zero so right now minimum is set with a value of zero currently the value of j j started with one so item of item of i which is i currently is zero so i has a value of five and item of j has a value of four so we want minimum minimum to has have a value of j which is currently one okay then we don't want to validate again 5 with 8 what we actually want is we want to compare uh, the minimal position value with the next iteration so so instead of comparing it with i what we actually want to do is to compare the value of minimum so if i do the next iteration uh, this particular loop will uh, uh, run again so now the value of j will move on to 2 the minimal position value is 1 the minimal value of position is 1 currently so it is 4 the value of j is 2 so in the position of 2 what we actually have got is 8 so it moves on to 8 this condition is false so it goes to the next iteration where j is incremented to 3 then it come picks the mean picks the position 1 and takes the value 4 on the array so it is 4 again then it moves on to the j position which is 3 on 3 what we have got is 2 since 2 is lesser than 4 the minimal value will be set to the value of j so at the end of this loop what we have actually got is min is set to 3 so once we have identified the minimum position what we actually want to do is swap the swap the iteration which is 5 the position 0 uh, with the minimal value in the number which is 2 so um, in javascript es6 we have destructure array destructuring for swapping so I'm going to use that to swap uh, this number. This is just a ES6 uh, function feature. So what we want to do is at the end of uh, uh, identifying the minimum value, what we want to do is we want to pick the item which is at index array, which is at the uh, index i. We want to change, swap it with the value available in minimum correct so the syntax is you just literally swap that so this should swap me the order so and if i allow it to run for an extra iteration the second element in the list would uh, sorted uh, on the uh, next iteration uh, 
uh, the next uh, number would get sorted and then uh, it repeats itself until all the numbers is sorted within the list so so that's my function and uh, once all the list item is sorted i'm going to writ uh, return the items so this so that uh, we can see the result okay let's declare a variable uh, and watch it as an example so let uh, uh, let me call an item as a variable and then um, items test okay so to test our function we'll pass in this uh, method so this is our method so let me pass in um, let me pass in 5482 if i run this method it, the list was not sorted because of a typo uh, so it is length so because of that uh, it did not got sorted so once we correct this uh, now the list is sorted for us as you could see so we can call the method selection sort uh, let's say i pass in uh, uh, 5 4 3 2 1 if I give this value as an array into the function it should sort me to 1 2 3 4 5 so it should uh, work uh, whatever way I uh, given the value as usual uh, whatever uh, we discussed in this video is given as uh, a github link whatever uh, uh, is there is available in github for you to verify uh, in future i'll share a link uh, of this in the description of this